Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jacksonville Jaguars Rebuild here on Huddle Breakdown. The Jaguars this week will be taking on the Minnesota Vikings, but bigger news came out of Jacksonville this week. In our Across the NFL segment, we had breaking news from the news desk that the Jacksonville Jaguars have fired their head coach, Doug Marone. They now turn to their offensive coordinator, now interim head coach, Jay Gruden, who of course comes from experience in Washington. He will lead the Jacksonville Jaguars through the remainder of their five games. On the flip side for the Vikings, they are 9-2 and two and trying to wrap up the number one seed in the NFC. Josh Lambeau has it set and we are underway from Minnesota. That is Amir Abdullah who will take a nine-yard touchback and we will get our first look today at Kirk Cousins who's got his Vikings of course, at 9-2 and two on the year and playing great football. 22 touchdowns, just three interceptions. He'll start at the 25 with a bunch set to the left. Cousins looks, throws. That is Adam Thielen for nine yards on first down. Second and one, two tight ends checking the game. The fake is to Cook. Now they'll throw that way. He's got a first down across the 40. A couple jukes will get him down to the 41. So it really doesn't game him any more yardage, but some nice jukes on display by Dalvin Cook. Here he tries again, but this time won't go. Jared Wilson, the free safety, was in on the tackle. Second and 10, stretch to the left. This is Cook, who's going to have... Maybe a first down. That second effort, he kind of lunges that football out. He will. First down, Dalvin Cook. Cousins will throw to the flat. That is number 11, Tajay Sharp, for five yards. Kirk fakes. Now throws down inside the 15 is the rookie, Justin Jefferson. At the 11 is where they'll set up. Dalvin Cook is the running back. The give is to Cook, and he'll get met at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Great play by Williams. Second and 11. Cousins throws. That is Kyle Rudolph, who will get inside the five at the four, but it's third and three. Jacksonville's defense trying to get a stop. Cousins to throw, and he's going to go down. He is going to get the throw off. The sack yardage really wouldn't matter either way. It's an incomplete pass. The field goes up and good, and we will get a look at Gardner Minshew, who has had an up-and-down season, to say the least. He really needs to play well this last stretch of the season to keep his job in Jacksonville. Now after the first down by Robert Tunyon, it's a fumble. Picked up by Minnesota, and Eric Wilson with the fumble recovery. It looked like Harrison Smith forced the fumble, and the Minnesota Vikings will get the football right back. In scoring range at the 33. They'll start with a run, Dalvin Cook for three yards. This team, of course, loves to run the football. Second and seven, Kirk. Throws left, dangerous pass, but Tajay Sharp helps him out. It's third and one. Blitz comes, Dalvin Cook will have the first down. Met initially by Joe Schobert, but that was after the first down marker. He'll get a gain of about four there. First down at the 21. Cousins. Looking, finds Dalvin Cook, who tries to break out of a tackle, but cannot. Second and two. Dalvin Cook again this time is stopped. That's Miles Jack in the backfield. And this Jaguars defense has played solid here in this first quarter. Kirk Cousins now on third and three. Going end zone, it's broken up. Great coverage there in the end zone. And two possessions in the red zone and in just six points as Gardner Minshew almost gave up a pick six there. Here is LaVisca Chenault with a first down all the way out to the 37. Chris Thompson stretched to the right, can't get outside. Number 42, Ben Gideon will bring him down a loss of one, second and 11. There's Chenault across the middle for a good game. Third and five. 
Minshew stepping left. He's going to run. First down and more. Inside the 40. He's got a slide, though. He does. Of course, Minshew's fumbled the football a lot in recent weeks. There he slides and gets a gain of 20. Here is first and 10. Throw to LaVisca Chenault. Will be shy of the first down in a fast-paced first quarter action here in Minnesota. Minshew rolling. Throws. Great pass. Tyler Reifer inside the 10. Brought down at the 5. And those are the passes that makes Jacksonville's decision-making on what they should do with Gardner Minshew in the future difficult. Obviously, he turns the football over a lot, but then he has great throws like that that was on the money. Here is a run by the fullback, David Wells, for the touchdown. Remember, earlier in the season, they signed him as a tight end, transitioned him to fullback, and he has done a nice job in this offense, gets a touchdown there, and Jacksonville will take a lead by one on the 9-2 and top-seeded NFC Minnesota Vikings. This drive starts with a Dalvin Cook run for about eight yards. Second and two, Cook again. He's got a first down again and a flag. We'll see what the call is. It's going to be a legal block in the back on the Vikings. Adam Thielen gets tagged with the penalty, so it'll go back to a second and three from the 32. Cousins surveying, throws underneath Dalvin Cook, who was in covered, he was covered by Zach Bond, but Dalvin Cook will get a first down. First and ten, two tight ends into the game. He will throw to one of those tight ends, Kyle Rudolph, who has a first down now in Jacksonville territory. Cousins, quick throw, completion. That's Tajay Sharp again. He's having a nice start to his day. Out to the 37-yard line. Cousins, all day to survey. Four rushers. This time he's going to get sacked. It's fumbled. It's picked up by Caleb on Chase Yon, who will get the fumble recovery. The rookie comes up with a big play. Miles Jack is the first one to force it out. And then Chaseon gets the fumble recovery. It's first and ten. Jacksonville back with the football. A couple of turno a turnover rather for each team. Here's a run. James Robinson. Speaking of rookies, that's an undrafted rookie for five yards. Gardner Minshew on second and five will go underneath to the Visca Chenault. Eric Kendricks in good coverage. It's third and five, trying to get the first down. Here's a run. Chris Thompson. Guess who is? In to make the tackle, it's Eric Kendricks again. Fourth and one at the 46. And Jacksonville's going to lead the offense out there. Minshew, did he get the first down? He did not. They say he did not get the first down. I thought he did. Here's another look at it. And I, I mean, that clearly looks like a first down. When his knee is down, the football is past the line of scrimmage. So Jay Gruden, the interim head coach, will challenge, and he will lose his first challenge here in Jacksonville. The call on the field is going to stand, and I don't really agree with that one. So after the turnover, Minnesota gets the football right back. Adam Thielen gets a catch and puts Kirk Cousins with 100 yards on the day. That is Dalvin Cook, who will carry for a first down. First and 10, shotgun handoff, delayed handoff, Dalvin Cook, a good gain of about eight. You see Jay Gruden on the sideline, probably still annoyed with that challenge a couple plays ago. That was a good fill in the hole by Zach Bond. It'll bring up third and inches, three tight ends into the game. Dalvin Cook will get the handoff. He's got a first down, makes a man miss in the hole. I don't think that tackle would have made a stop for a fourth down either way, but a great move and a first down. Second and ten. Bunch set. Cousins throws. That is Adam Thielen out to the 15. Minnesota trying to take advantage of that turnover on downs by Jacksonville. Stretch run goes nowhere. That is Justin Jefferson, loss of a yard. Miles Jack on the tackle, second and 11. 
Delay give. Cook makes one miss. Can't get out of another tackle, but gets a good gain of four. Third and seven. Bunch set to the right. Minnesota 0 for 2 on touchdowns in the red zone. Trying to get one here. Just a four-man rush. It's going to break free, but he's going to pass to Delvin Cook for the touchdown. Zach Bond in coverage. And initially, Jacksonville's pass defense held up but you can't expect them to hold up for that long with no pressure on the quarterback. Here is Ngakwe getting pressure on the Jacksonville quarterback. A seven-yard sack. It's second and 17. Here underneath to LaVisca Chenault. We'll get out to the 30. Gardner Minshew needs a conversion. We're under the two-minute warning. Here is Chenault. He'll get the conversion all the way out to the 47. Again, a 17, first and 10. Minshew now will go hurry up. Two timeouts left because of that failed challenge. That is a drop. Second and 10. Minshew throws. It's another drop. That one is Colin Johnson with the drop. It's third and 10. Minshew, Tyler Eifert, this time it's caught, and a first down at the 36, and a quick timeout by Jacksonville. 40 seconds to go, five wide set. Minshew, looking, rolling, out of bounds, and that may be intentional grounding by Gardner Minshew, it is. He thought he got out of the tackle box, but he didn't. It's second and 20. Minshew unloads it deep, it's caught, now dropped. Tyler Reifert would have made a tremendous catch, but instead, third and 22. Minshew is going to get sacked here on third and 22, and the Vikings will now call one of their timeouts, try to get some points before the end of the first half. But here, they're just going to run with Dalvin Cook for a couple yards, an interesting play call. After you call the timeout to force Jacksonville to punt it. But either way, Jacksonville, who a lot of people thought had no chance in this game, hanging with the Minnesota Vikings 13-7. Obviously, Jacksonville a one turnover, but then you say really two because the fourth down turnover on downs. They've got to clean those up. They have to score on every possession here if they want a chance. That's not going to help. That's a holding penalty, first and 20. Tyler Eifert on the drag. We'll get a good gain. Ben Gideon on the stop, second and 12, as they get eight yards back. Tyler Eifert again. He gets out to the 35. Eric Kendricks was in on the stop, third and one. Minshew gives. James Robinson's got a first down across the 40. Jacksonville trying to put a drive together here at the start of the second half. Minshew gives Chris Thompson up the middle, three yards. The ball second and seven. Second and seven. Minshew looking, throws, missing his target. Oh, man. Minshew misses Tyler Eifert. It would have had to been a great throw, but definitely doable. He missed him there, and here is a missed opportunity by the Jaguars. DJ Chark gets it knocked free from Eric Kendricks. It's first and ten now for Minnesota. Cousins to throw. Adam Thielen, who hasn't had a big day offensively, gets a good gain there. First and ten run by Dalvin Cook for three yards. Now the Vikings will go five wide. Blitz is on. Quick throw. Dalvin Cook. First down. First and ten at the 43. Cousins with the throw to the outside. Tajay Sharp for seven yards, second and three. Cousins, quick throw, complete. That's Justin Jefferson. Breaks a tackle. He is going to get brought down inside the 15. What a tackle there. The shoestring tackle to bring down Justin Jefferson. I thought he was gone to the house. He's got two catches, 57 yards on the day. Here is a touchdown by Justin Jefferson. So he'll get the touchdown on the very next play 
and Minnesota will extend their lead, trying to go for two. Cousins looking, has time, throws Thielen, two-point conversion is good. It is now 21 to seven. Jacksonville finds themselves down. This is Josiah Scott who will get it out across the 25, and I believe, yeah, Zach Bond is slow to get up on the play. He, of course, a trade acquisition this Jags team made halfway through this season. The young linebacker will now head to the locker room, and we will hopefully get an update on him. Here is Minshew finding DJ Chark. It's caught at the 40. First reception on the day for DJ Chark. And of course, they would like to get him more involved in this offense. There's Chris Thompson going nowhere. Eric Hendricks fills the hole nicely. And there you see the quick report on Zach Bond. Zach Bond, excuse me. A dominant tear and will not return to today's game. We'll see if he will play any of the remainder of the season. We'll get an update on him later. Mitchu third and three completes to... Chenault, actually it's dropped. It, there you see Jay Gruden walking down to the line of scrimmage to see how far away it is, and he's going to keep the offense out there. Fourth and three from the 46. Minshew, look, throws LaVisca Chenault. It's knocked away. Great play by Anthony Harris. But for the Jacksonville Jaguars, more struggles on fourth down for this team. Delvin Cook gets an eight-yard carry at the 38. Two tight ends, a fullback into the game. The run is Cook up the middle. Good blocking by this Vikings offensive line. And they, with a touchdown here, could just about put this game away. Quick throw, Thielen. He's going to walk in for the touchdown. Jacksonville's defense, after a strong start in this game, making the Vikings go 0 for 2 in the red zone, settling for two field goals. Have just fallen apart here, and Gardner Minshew with another inaccurate pass in the direction of Tyler Eifert. Second and 10, throw up the seam. That is going to be caught on the rebound by DJ Chart. He's not going to get a first down. We saw a couple weeks ago him uh, on a rebounded play go off his knee, get intercepted. That time he catches it. It's fourth and one, and they're keeping the offense out there. This time they should get the conversion. They will. James Robinson up the middle, but I talked about this Jags defense falling apart here late, but the Jags offense not doing them any favors. Here is Tyler Eifert, who will get a first down inside Minnesota territory at the 46. Now second and 10, blitz comes. Minshew doesn't see it. He gets it away. But it's third and ten now after he narrowly avoids the sack. Minshew will throw it up, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Anthony Harris, who will get this brought down at the 38. But as you see here, third and ten, down 28-7. to seven. Minshew just throws it up for someone, and a very easy interception by Anthony Harris. This is Dalvin Cook trying to really put this game away. First down run there. Here's a fake to Cook. Throw complete. Kyle Rudolph shakes off a tackle and will step out of bounds at the 29. And for Jacksonville, after what looked like a good first half in this game is just ready for this game to be over. Dalvin Cook with the run there gets over a hundred yards. Here, he will bounce off one tackle and get the first down. Third and 11, bunch set to the right. Cousins throws, that is sharp, down to the seven. First and goal from the seven, just nearing nine minutes to go in this game. Cousins. Looking end zone, Rudolph, are they going to say he was in when he had possession? They will. Touchdown, Minnesota. And that will end the game. We're just going to skip ahead all the way to the end of the game here. Two-minute warning, a throw by Garner Minshew, a great catch. Toe-tapping 
touchdown by LaVisca Chenault, but Jay Gruden in his interim head coach debut here in Jacksonville. After what looked like a good start in the first half, gets blown out in the second half and ends up losing 35-13 to as we went for a two-point conversion there at the end and didn't get it. Jacksonville will now turn its attention to next season. And what that means for us here, obviously there's four games remaining in this season. What we are going to do is I have already cut the four games together. So it'll be about a 20 minute episode, but we're cutting the four games together in a highlight reel type package. So we will next episode get all the remaining four weeks of the season done for the Jacksonville Jaguars 2020 season. We thank you for watching today's very ugly game yet again in the Jacksonville Jaguars Rebuild Series. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And we will see you around at the next Huddle Breakdown.